Hi, this is Liz from ReviewHarbor.net and today I'm going to review a favourite of mine on Windows and now it's on Mac, it's CCleaner Free Edition for Mac. Now it looks very much like the Windows CCleaner although the tools are a bit different. You can upgrade, there is an upgrade button and um, by default some categories are pre-selected for Safari and System um, you can also delete custom files and folders like just like in the Windows version and manage your applications, clean them too. So I have Firefox, I have Google Chrome and some other apps that I'm not going to touch at this moment and I'm sure there isn't too much junk there. I mean, there is iPhoto, iTunes, VLC, pretty much anything. Anything you have installed you can clean up the junk from it and general caches okay so I'll select some apps and let's see what happens when I click analyze I use Chrome the most so it takes the longest to analyze and I'm sure there'll be quite a lot of junk there right so here we are yeah, quite a bit of junk, a bit in Safari, a bit of system trash, Firefox. Yeah, and Google Chrome is the worst. Nothing in my iPhone, though. Okay. So you can view detailed results, go back to summary, just select any listing what you have there. Click on it and you can go to detailed results. Now I'm thinking do I want to delete Chrome caches or not? Unfortunately there isn't a way to deselect things once the analysis is complete. That's a bit annoying. Even if I deselect it here, nothing happens. So I'm going to deselect Chrome altogether and I'll have to analyze again. That's a bit annoying because what if it analyzed it, found something, and I, well, I don't want to delete it, so I should be able to unselect it whenever I want. Right, well, Chrome Cleaner, there is a warning that it will permanently delete the files, so let it do that. Let's close Firefox, have it open, and that's it. So let's have a look at the tools. Uh, there is an uninstall manager just like in Windows, where you can uninstall apps completely. Uh, you can manage your startup items. I have no idea how this Gramble got here because it's it's long been uninstalled. Just select an item, enter your password, click OK. Secleaner will remove it. So select an item, click on remove, enter your password. That's it. You can also erase free space, um, which will delete traces of deleted files which is very good from the security point of view, especially if you're selling your Mac or giving it away. Right, so let's have a look at the options. There are some basic settings. How do you delete files? You can delete them normally or securely. Uh, you have cookies that you might want to keep so you can move them to the ignore list. You can include and exclude. You can select the language you want to keep. I'm keeping them all because they, they don't really affect system performance. I mean, people say that they do, they don't really. There is a nice upgrade screen. That's it. See Cleaner for Mac. Subscribe to my channel for more reviews and stay tuned.